what's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can get your Minecraft server running on your computer accessible through the internet for free without the need of port forwarding. Lots of people don't have their admin password to their routers or their ISPs stop them port forwarding unless you pay for extra things. It's a bunch of hassle and you can avoid it using a free service. But before we get into it, if you don't want to leave your PC on all the time running your Minecraft server, you should consider looking into a Minecraft server host. Enter Apex Hosting, the sponsor of this video. Currently, you can use code Black Friday for 40% off your first invoice, and with them, you can get Minecraft, among other game servers, with super low latency, great support, powerful DDoS protection, automatic backups, and far more. Simply click the link down below, choose Get Started, select Minecraft, Java, Bedrock, or any other game for that matter, configure your server with the amount of RAM you want, order now, and in just a few moments, you should have a Minecraft server set up. A huge thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this guide. So let's get on with the video. If you have a Minecraft server set up, like I do here, this is my fabric server. If you'd like to know how to set up a server from scratch, you'll find links in the description down below. Whether you're running Forge, Fabric, Vanilla Minecraft, or any other mod pack, the steps are the same. Open port 25565 in your firewall to allow Minecraft through to your local network and port forward on your router. Even though I have guides showing people how to port forward, if you can't for whatever reason, there's a simple way around it. You can either use a program like Tailscale or another virtual private network where you can link multiple computers together. You might want something a bit simpler to set up and more locked down by default just to allow Minecraft through to the internet and preferably you don't want other people to have to download software too. In the description down below you'll find a link to playit.gg. This website allows you to open a port to the internet without having to actually port forward and other people don't need to download anything either. Scrolling down you'll find out how it works. It's essentially a tunneling service. You go through the play it cloud instead of a direct connection. Scrolling down there is a fee if you want to open up more than just four ports. Use IPv6, external domains, such as if you own your own website, and beyond that, there's no real reason to need to upgrade, which is fantastic, unless you're hosting more than four servers. So all you need to do is head across to playit.gg, choose download here, then simply download the Windows installer, otherwise Linux or Mac are available too. The plugins page over here allows you to set this up without needing to install any extra software. You can download the Java Bucket plugin, which is only compatible with vanilla type servers like Spigot, Paper and Bucket, which can only use add-ons instead of mods like Fabric, Forge, NeoForge, etc. If you're running one of these server types here, I'd recommend downloading and installing the plugin as it's going to be a bit simpler to manage. Otherwise, if you download it for Windows like I am now, you'll need to make sure the software is running in order for other people to connect to your server. To install it, simply open the installer, next, next, and install. Once it's done, you'll have a new shortcut on your desktop for playit.gg, and that'll open up this window here. Visit this link to set it up, so either control click on this or drag around it and right click to copy and paste it into your browser, and now we'll need to set up an account on playit.gg. I'll create an account as I don't already have one, and if you wish you can use a guest account just for a temporary host. I'll do this for now. And in just a few moments, everything should be set up automatically. You can choose create tunnel here. Then in here, we can choose a region if you're a paying customer, otherwise global and tunnel type. We'll select Minecraft, Java or Minecraft Bedrock. Once we've done that, enable the tunnel and add. There we go. And now after a few moments, your server should be set up and you'll be given a link like this. You'll see your local address, the data center you're going through and your public address here. I'll wait for my server to start up and I'll also open my Minecraft client and we'll head back to the menu. If you're joining on the same computer you're hosting it, just go to multiplayer and add the server 127001 to connect to your server locally. Otherwise, if you're over the internet or on another network, we need to do a bit more. So to show this, I'll remotely connect to my laptop, which is using a VPN to completely separate it from my network. As a friend over the internet wouldn't be able to connect, this laptop is unable to connect. All we need to do is copy the link up here or the IP address below it and port and send this to our friends then they should be able to join our server. If you want to change the public address or anything like that, you can choose next, but you'll need to set up an account. For now, I'll just leave it without one and we'll head back to the tunnels page at the top. Then our server here. On our other computer, on a completely different network, I'll head to multiplayer and add a server here. I'll paste in the address, done, and shortly after, our server's now up here. If we join it, we'll load into our server 
And there we go, just like that, I'm in game. Now, as for ping, it's not gonna exactly be the best as we are connected to a server over the internet. If you're in Europe, America, or a similar country, things are probably gonna be just fine for you. And if you're playing on a server with only a few people, ping's not gonna be too bad either. But if you're like me in a faraway country like South Africa, player.gg doesn't offer a server in your country. If I select the IP address here, you can see I'm connected to a VPN in South Africa, which is where I am. And if I search for the IP address of our player.gg server or relay, it's located in Nevada, USA. If you're in the US, then you're probably going to have a really good ping using something like this, but otherwise, well, not so much. Playing the game is going to feel mostly normal. I'm connected remotely, so my mouse is kind of freaking out, but traveling around, picking up blocks and things like that is relatively snappy, even though I'm quite far away. Now, as Minecraft doesn't have a good ping display, I've installed a plugin in Fabric so I can do slash ping, and we can see that I've got 117 MS, even though if this was a local South African server, I'd have about 2 to 10. So, Again, this only works really well in certain regions. For most people, this will be more than good enough. And of course, if you don't really care about ping too much, it's probably going to be just fine. Anyways, that's really it for this super quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. And again, a special thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring it. My name is Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.